Aha! Ha, let me go ahead and bring it on in nice and easy. You know what I mean? Real slick like. Come on, talk to me, man. Y'all see the title, so you know it's finna get real spicy in this motherfucker, you dig? He called you a cowboy. What did he mean? What are you? No, I'm going to kill you. Just a humble bounty hunter, man. What's going on, y'all? How y'all living, man? Is everybody good? You understand what I'm saying? Cause uh, let me go ahead and take a a good a good quick look at y'all real fast. Uh, is y'all straight? Cause Pete, man, I want to talk about this battle for a multitude of reasons. You dig? And I'm gonna be quick about it, cause I want to get to this motherfucker. First off, ruin. <laughs> We talked about Ruin on the channel, man. Come on, the dude is a monster. You dig what I'm saying? The thing that Ruin does on any given day puts the fear in me. You know what I mean? I'm literally stuck. Like, damn, how did you do that? You know what I mean? Did we see his chest, the way the motherfucker throw that shit, and the way he be fucking, all that power he got? Please, man, I've been close enough to where I felt like he was going to take my two fronts out. I was finna go back home. <laughs> I ain't wasn't going to have nothing up in here, though, because I felt like his power was going to take my whole grill out. You know what I mean? Dude is a problem on a multitude of different levels, even outside of just the traditional crump shit. The motherfucker is adaptable. He can throw down. Look, man, let me get to Rubik's real fast because we been new. We been new. Lil homie is a problem. You dig? And we going back into time with this one. This ain't even like some current shit. This is a little bit of a throwback. You feel me? But the main thing that I peeped is cuz stepped out stepped out his city stepped out his spot you know what i mean he's in the states he's in new york for those that ain't familiar you know what i mean he don't got his boys around him nothing like that he really out there testing himself to go up against one of the best out here you know what i mean and of course with this setup i think it's like you know ruin picked the song rubik's picked the song and i think that might be it but i, I kind of don't even remember this shit so i kind of just want to see how they both adapt to the shits you know what I mean? And uh, I already know they're going to throw down at a real high level. So we got stuff to talk about because I saw the comment section on the video <laughs> and y'all motherfuckers was talking shit. Look, before I get to the battle, though, I just got to go ahead and throw this out, man. Look, MetalsPalace.com. It's a dot com. So you know it's legit, baby. You know what I mean? I've already got a multitude of orders that's going out today. So people is buying and I just want to say, first off, thank you for all for all the people that's really showing love out here. If you buying just to support, that's cool. If you buying because you literally want to step your game up, look, man, friends or friend, friend or foe, this shit is hard, man. I'm pulling up to everybody like, look, nigga, what, what, what is you? A friend or foe? You know what I mean? Pick one and choose wisely. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Click the link. It's in the description. Get you some gear, man. I got some new shit coming out. Trust me, man. I'm, I'm trying to lace y'all up proper. So look, man, we finna get right to this battle because I ain't trying to waste no more goddamn time. Blau. Turn this up. I wonder if he came to this joint solo. Nice. His ability to pick up on the track is nice, bro. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Dude is nice. Oh. Oh my god. For this not to be his track too, I believe. Wow. Nice. Nice. Whoa. Nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. That was heavy. That was heavy. And look, the people, they just showing nothing but respect. Because they knew when he delivered at a high level like that, and Castle was able to see that in person, they saw the difference. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Oh, my God. Nice. Nice. What? What? Ugh. that exchange right there man and wiggles is there i didn't even know that that was dope to see them both adapt because i know that was that was ruin dancing to rubik's track and rubik's dancing to ruin's track i'm just hoping at one point in this video one of them r's don't fuck me up rubik's and ruin ruin and rubik's rubik's and ruin ruin and rubik's All right, man. Let's 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 do damage right now. Nice. Hey. Nice. Nice. Whoa. Nice. Nice patience. Nice, bro. <laughs> Whoa, what? <laughs> he a fool for that. Nice. That shit was funny. Uh oh. Don't hurt him, Ruin. Let's go, Ruin. Let's go. Yes. Damn. What the fuck? Damn, that was smooth as hell. 
It's the craziest thing to see, like how powerful this is, but he make it look so easy, bro. I would have been gra uh, gasping for air. Like, I would have needed an oxygen tank delivering this kind of a round. Wow. So, it looked like it's finna be a bunch of talking. Because, like, I'm still kind of stuck, right? Like... I feel that. I feel that, homie. I feel that. It's almost like, too, like sometimes maybe in the heat of the moment, you maybe have an answer and then you end up changing it. Like this came out three years ago, almost. You know what I mean? Like sometimes your experience. You see things a little bit differently, or, or it's just like the way you even feel. Oh, it's based off the people. Oh, no. It's oh, okay, word. Okay, word. So it's only Wiggles gave it to Ruin. Okay. It looked like it was a tie. Everybody else gave it a tie. I, I'm more so leaning on the fact that I think I needed another round because I would have gave that first round to, to Rubik's. And the second round to ruin. However, the thing that I noticed the most is the difference in when they knew the song. Because you, you, you have some people that are able to adapt to anything, which I still feel like brought out something different than when you know the song. So for me, quite frankly, especially in the exhibition, like... Rubik's approach in the second song, it it just it felt not as free because when I watched his first round, it's like he was expressing within whatever that song is because he didn't know the joint. And that's not maybe it's not to say that's not his style of music, but clearly it was more so a, a, a tethered crump track. But his ability to get off in it, it's like he couldn't have nothing predetermined. He didn't know any of the beats. He didn't know nothing that was going to come out of it. So he was able to adapt really well, what, what I felt like in that first round. But the second round, it's like you can tell he's picking apart sounds. Now, the main thing also that I want to like kind of emphasize is when people sometimes can get stuck on a sound. So I, I feel like maybe even in both of his rounds, there was definitely that ability to to dance. And then once a specific sound came, whether it be pa 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 pa, like he kept accenting the same thing. You know what I mean? To where eventually it somewhat becomes stale or it kind of just depends on how you utilize that sound. But then you become more predictable because people obviously can tell, okay, he's going to hit this sound again. He's going to hit this sound again. He's going to hit this sound again. And then sometimes subconsciously you just get stuck within it. So that's just like a, a, a note to kind of have when you when you looking at how you approach your your tracks but essentially like the first round definitely had a difference now with ruin like for me his ability to move at the speed at which he goes at already gives it a different feel because he can really take it slow with his approach on the round or he can speed it and go a lot more faster within his approach so he has a wide range in tempos because for me, the first round, definitely, I saw the, the I, not, I wouldn't say there was a level of discomfort, but it was like his ability to adapt versus that second round, you see all this confidence he got. You know what I mean? Like he walked around the stage like, man, I'm finna fuck you up. But his delivery to be able to go within the music or like change the tempos within the music and then the different rhythms that he's able to hit because of his speed changes, like to me, that's crazy. To me, to me, that is very crazy. And even like that first round, I wouldn't have even said like Rubik's took that by far to me. It was just the way Ruin was was the way he expressed it. Like his first round, it still felt a little bit 
more like stationary within this space whereas rubik's kind of like that's why i said it just felt more free like he felt liberated but the second song it's like now he's he's mouthing off everything he's 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 not he didn't he didn't like disrupt his flow but there's just key moments where it's like if that was just a, the first time he heard it he wouldn't be so caught up in trying to like showcase the sound you know what i mean he would be more so just in the music going at different rhythms going at different tempos but like he wanted to showcase everything as opposed to that first round but still those are just little things that i'm i'm looking at as far as like how i watch the battle but overall to to focus on what they what they did in a highlight like both of these two cats to me definitely definitely dished what they did at a high level like to me these are some of my favorite battles to watch because they more than likely never happen again you went like like to see Rubik's versus Ruin. These are some of the things that people only talk about or dream about, because you have someone like Ruin that is like one of the best crumpers alive. He's, he's just one of the best. That's just I, you can't tell me nothing. I don't know about in the crump world if that's legit, but to me he is. Then you got Ruin. I mean Rubik's. See, I fucked up. I set up. You got Rubik's. He's basically one of the up and comers. In, in, in a sense where it's like his battle tactics is strong, but then he can he can get down. Like, in whatever, he can get down. So, to me, he has somewhat of like a, a like somewhat of a jack of all trades, like he, because he's very versatile. So, he can get down to a lot of different things or demonstrate a lot of different things. So, to see these two go at it, I was ready for a third. I was ready for a third, but Wiggle said he had it all figured out. And you can't really say nothing to that. Like, I'm not really mad at the call you know i don't because for me to think that somebody won then they have to have got both rounds and i'm not mad if someone like wiggles thought ruin got both or maybe edged it out a little bit more but i can definitely see there being a winner or i can also see there being a tie but for me i would have liked to see a third you know what i mean and that's the also difficult part of judging like you know, you don't really have uh uh like the the say so if if you can't go a third, like you gotta pick one. So so how do you do it? And the main thing, even when I talk to like different dancers and then like Slim, for instance, when it comes to judging, the thing that is the hardest is because it's all subjective. Everything about it is 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 just based off the person's preferences. You know what I mean? Like I try to keep things very objective. Um, but it's also understanding that it's coming from my experience. So it's still me being subjective, but I try to remove a lot of my feelings towards stuff. These aren't even my styles. So it's hard for me to be biased unless it's like I'm just going to do like a whole USA thing and, and just vote for ruin. I don't really understand Crump at the highest level and, and Rubik's, it, it, he has like a, a, a way of moving that's not really like like traditional hip hop shit. So his way of uh, incorporating his dance, like his movement, it, it's very different to me too. So it's like I'm learning when I'm watching both of them. So there's no real like uh, bias toward towards me, like watching them. But at the same time, when you're when you're judging, there's no criteria sheet you have to follow or go off of. So basically. If you ever peep judges and they say what they want to see, they all got different answers. Some of them might have somewhat connected um feelings towards how they view around but at the same time it's it's basically this is why i pick the person that i pick because the way i see things and the way i look at it like some people think tutting ain't dancing like there's some people that think if you don't have a groove you're not you know what i mean there's a lot of different there's a lot of different things that um judges look at but that's just based off their own personal preference because even when we were talking in the Discord, I remember someone had asked me, like, how would I judge a battle? Um, and uh, if it was something like this, you know, like, for me, when I see, like, if I see, you know, we just watched uh, Dram from, from the Memphis Drukin scene. If I were to watch him versus, you know, uh, Dram versus, like, like, Paradox or something, I'm trying to think of someone at his caliber. But I don't even understand Memphis Drukin enough to even speak on it. But it's like, I'm trying to see 
how do you even go about judging those two? The way Memphis Jukin dancers get off to tracks, I can't expect them to do what Paradox does. Like Paradox obviously probably can dish out more. But then does that limit Dram? Like, does that mean he automatically loses every time? You know what I mean? Like it's just sometimes that 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 predicament where I'm like, does Dram now have to go outside of his range and like do more for the sake of the battle? I kind of just get to that position where I'm like, how do you accurately even judge this? But because there's no there's there's no criteria sheet. It's not a sport, so it's not like you know there's specific rules you have to follow. I think there's certain foundations you need. You know what I mean? Um, and 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 considerable basics. All the all these different approaches within whatever style you're doing. But essentially, like you know, it, it that to me, I'm like I don't even know how to call that because they're going to be moving completely different. So in a form of exhibition, cool. You know what I mean? Just throw down, leave it up to the people. You know, like I'm, I'm going to tell you all right now, leave it in the comment section. Who you think won? Rubik's or Ruin or you won a third? You know what I mean? Holla at me. I don't even know who made it this far. I'm really just I'm really just talking to you all at this point. You know what I mean? The podcast is going to be coming out uh, this week, hopefully. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's just something for you all to think about. Um that was like a cool little breakdown for the for the battle, but also like the idea of judging. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm interested to see what y'all going to say. You know, I was just glad to see this because more so it being Rubik's going at one of the best, which is Ruin. And he's not in Paris to see to see how he was still able to dish out rounds at a high level. When most people say that certain cats are only able to deliver because of their comfort while being at home and clearly Rubik's wasn't home but he still threw down let me know what y'all thinking about in the comment section though i'm gonna get the fuck up out of here if you made it this far you might as well just go ahead and click the link in the description you know what i mean go ahead and get you a shirt i believe in you peace